stunning development in journalist Gauri Lankesh's murder case. In fact, according to forensic report placed before the Bangalore court by Karnataka Police Special Investigation Team, same country made 7.65 mm gun used to kill Gauri Lankesh and rationalist MM Kalburgi. The report which was attached to the charge sheet filed by SIT in the Lankesh murder case is the first official indication by any government agency of the linkages between the two murders. The findings suggest a common group of assassins shot both Lankesh and Kalburgi dead. Kalburgi, remember, was killed on August 30th, 2015 in Darwar, while Lankesh was assassinated on September 5th, 2017 in Bengaluru. Let me go across uh, to my colleague uh, Nagarjun, uh, who is joining us on the phone line for more on this story. Uh, Nagarjun, uh, bring us more, uh, you know, details of this charge sheet. Have the police been able to zero down on any agency? Well, the agency has not been, you know, found out yet. But what they have given in a charge sheet copy is the forensic lab reports of both. Gauri Lankesh uh, murder case, uh, the weapon uh, the we weapon that was used and also M.M. Kalbuki who was killed in Darwar in 2015, the weapon that was used. Both uh, in that case, the uh, forensic lab uh, had given, uh, had taken the cartridges given by the police department and when they uh, uh, compared the tra tractions or the, uh, you know, the markings on the bullets were, the, uh, were identical as for the forensic reports and which, uh, because of that, they have concluded that, you know, the uh, same weapon was used, that is 7.65, MM country made pistol that was used in both the killings and the uh, FSL report has also been attached uh, in the charge of Navin Kumar and Gauri Lankesh uh, accused uh, to, the, the, to the court here in Bangalore and the CID who is probing uh, uh, the Kalburgi case will also be contacted now by SID and remember recently the SID took in four people into custody uh, from the Upatpete police station case uh, in terms of arms, uh, arms act. So more revelations will be done uh, during the course of investigation is what uh, SIT feels, but uh, big developments in, in both the Kalburgi and uh, Gauri Lankish case as the FSL reports have matched in both uh, weapons. You know, uh, uh, Nagarjun, as of now, both these cases remain unresolved. There have been few arrests that have been made, but as far as the main culprits, people who in fact uh, uh, gave the orders or on whose behest this entire plot was in fact uh, made to kill both Kalburgi and Gauri Lankesh, they are still away from the police's uh, hands. That is true, Ankit. At this point of time, uh, the police have confirmed that they are in a crucial phase of investigation and in the next couple of months, they will be cracking This is what they feel. They are hopeful about it. But it's a large conspiracy. I remember a lot of people are involved in it. But as of now, they only know the motive as to why Gauri Lankesh was murdered. She was murdered because of her anti-Hindu views is what the charge sheet copy also said statement of accused number one, Navin Kumar, uh, but who are the killers, who are the shooters and who ordered this uh, uh, killing to be done? This is a big question that the SIT will have to answer in the next couple of months, but they are hopeful that you know uh, they will crack this case very soon and uh, they have already made enough progress in the last eight to nine months and they have caught uh, you know, more people in this case uh, and they are getting good leads is what they say. But it's been uh, quite some time uh, and uh, there was a special team which was assigned this case. In fact, uh, this was a political, uh, uh, you know, a case as well in which a lot of questions were asked, not only of the then chief minister, uh, 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 then chief minister of Karnataka, Siddharamaya, who in fact said that he's a personal friend of Gauri Lankesh and will ensure that justice is done. On the other hand, this was used as a political uh, talking point in the elections as well, uh, Nagarjun. Well, uh, it, it's, a, it's a difficult case, Ankit, like I said, definitely, uh, if you compare Dabulkar, Pansare, Kalburgi and Gauri Lankesh case, in the, um, say, it seems like the same modus operandi uh, is there, but uh, the SIT is the only uh, agency here in the uh, four cases that they have made some improvements and they have caught some people and have good lead. Uh, when we talk to our sources, you know, in the police department, uh, it, it seems like a difficult case because most of these people uh, don't have digital footprint. At, at this point of time, you know, digital footprint act, uh, becomes a, quite a good evidence to trace the, you know, the main uh, main culprits. But uh, what the modus operandi is that these people don't use uh, any digital footprint. So that is being the toughest challenge for the police here to trace them out. Thank you so much uh, for joining us with all those details, uh, Nagarjun. We'll come back to you for more on this story. 
for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.